Today we're going to talk about the important invention of the telephone. The first phone. Alexander Graham Bell invented the telephone. He used it for the first time on March 10, 1876. He called his assistant Thomas A. Watson. Watson was in a new nearby room. If you look at the picture of the first telephone, be thinking about how different is that compared to our phones that we use today. Alexander Graham Bell did not plan to invent a telephone. He was trying to improve the telegraph. He built and tested machines for many years. In 1876, his machine finally worked. If you're wondering what a telegraph is, remember we can click here and it tells us a telegraph is a machine that uses electrical signals to send messages over long distances. So if you go back to the important invention slide, you can learn more about what that telegraph is. But how cool is that, that Alexander Graham Bell wasn't even trying to invent a telephone, it kind of just happened on accident. How phones work. Phones send and receive electrical signals. A phone changes a person's voice into signals. A wire carries the signals to another phone. This phone turns the signals back into the other person's voice. Wow, there's a lot of science happening there in just a simple telephone call. Telephone parts. Every telephone has a ringer, a microphone, a speaker, a keypad, and a switch. The switch connects a phone to other phones. A person cannot make a call if the switch is off. So this is a picture of an antique telephone and it really does have me wondering if these facts are true for phones that we use currently. So when I think about when I was growing up, we had a phone that was just for our house and then we Later on, maybe when I was in high school, had a cell phone. So I'm wondering if these pieces where they're talking about how each phone has a ringer, a microphone, a speaker, a keypad, and a switch, if that still holds true to today's phones. The telephone today. For many years, phones only worked over a short distance. They also needed to be plugged into the wall. Now, many phones do not have cords or wires. Cell phones can go wherever you go. So with that, friends, today we learned about the telephone and how it was invented almost on accident. And I want you to be thinking about how have telephones changed over time. Remember, your, if you feel like it, you are welcome to explore Pebble Go more and learn more about all the different types of inventions listed there.